In this video, we'll go through exam questions that cover the criteria read and record time in common date formats and read time displayed on analog clocks in hours, half hours and quarter hours and understand hours from a 24-hour digital clock. You can locate the questions on the mathmas.com website under entry 2. The questions come from different exam boards. We'll start with the non-calculated questions and then we'll move to the calculated questions. Here is the first one. Dave starts work at quarter past six. Which clock shows quarter past six? Take your answer. Quarter, that looks like this. Quarter an hour, and that's 15 minutes. So that is 15 minutes past six o'clock. So the shorthand should point at six. If we look at option A, shorthand is roughly at 6, and the minutes hand, that is quarter past. So option A is the correct one. Option B shows quarter to 5, which isn't correct here, and option C shows half past 3. Option D shows 5 o'clock. So the only correct option is option A. The owner says he can deliver the greenhouse. The delivery date is 13 of the 7th, 2021. What day of the week does he deliver the greenhouse? So. We've got three calendars in here, one for May, one for June and one for July. Which one should we focus on? The month is this one here, the seventh, the seventh in the year. So starting with January, February, March, April, May. June, July. So July is the 7th. 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th. So we're focusing on July. It is the 13th of July. So where is 13 here? That's this one. And it is a Tuesday. The greenhouse will be delivered at half past two. Which clock shows half past two? Tick your answer. So looking at option A, this is half past one. It hasn't reached two yet. Looking at option B, this is quarter to three. Looking at option C, this is half past two. Option D is half past four. So the only correct option is option C. Daisy starts working at quarter to eight. So quarter of an hour to get to eight o'clock. Which clock shows quarter to eight? Tick your answer. Option A shows quarter past eight. Option B shows quarter to 10. Option C shows quarter to 8. So C is the correct one. D shows 8 o'clock, which isn't correct. We now move into the calculator questions. Alex needs his car repaired. He wants his car repaired between the 30th of August and the 10th of September. The garage gives Alex dates when they can repair his car. Which date will Alex choose? Tick the correct answer. So we're looking for a date between 30th of August and the 10th of September. So August, that is the 8th month of the year 
and September is the ninth month of the year. So we've got the dates when the garage can repair the car. The first one is 9th of the 8th, 2019. So that is 9th of August. We don't want that because that's way before the 30th of August. Then we have 18th of September. That is way after the 10th of September. So we don't want that. Then we have 8th of September. That is before the 10th of September and after the 30th of August. So that's the right one. Then we have 19th of August, which is way before the 30th of August. So the only correct option is this one here, 8th of September. Lucy wants to wake up before 7 o'clock. What time will Lucy set her alarm clock to? Tick the correct answer. The first one is quarter to 8, so that is after 7. Second option, that is half past 7, so it's not before 7. Third option, that is half past 9, again, that's not before 7. And we have quarter to seven, which is 15 minutes before seven. So this is the correct option. The customer borrows a DVD on the 15th of April. Jazz tells the customer he can keep the DVD for 14 days. On what date in April must the customer return the DVD? So borrows it on the 15th of April and can keep it for 14 days. So if we add 14 to 15, we get 29. So the DVD must be returned on the 29th of April. Story time starts at 12.30. Which clock shows the start time? Tick your answer. Option A shows quarter past 10. Option B shows 12.30. So that's the correct one. Option C shows 11 o'clock, which is not the case. And option D shows half past 11 or 11.30. 11 so the only correct option is option B. John sees the date of a fundraising event in 2022, which is 11th of March. He writes the date on his notepad. What will John write? Take your answer. March is the third month of the year. So we're looking for 11th of March and the year is 2022. Where do we have a match? That's option B. stops bird watching at four o'clock in the afternoon. Which clock shows this time? Tick your answer. The options we have don't give AM or PM, so they're written in 24 hour format. So this is in the afternoon, so we're gonna add 12 to the four to make it 16. So now this is in the 24 hour format. Where do we have a match? That's option D. Lee waters his plants at this time, which is 1700. 0, 0. 
which we also read as 1700 hours. What is the time on the clock? Tick your answer. So is it 1 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock? Now this is in the afternoon in 24 hour format so we need to take away 12. 17 take away 12. 7 take away 2 gives us 5. 1 take away 1 is 0. You can also do this with a calculator. So it is 5 o'clock. Tara must write the date on her timesheet. The date is shown on the calendar. 14th of June 2022. How will Tara write the date? Tick your answer. June is the sixth month of the year. So we're going to write this as 14 06 2022. So where do we have a match? That's the first one because we can write 2022 as just 22 as well, the short form of it. The receptionist makes a date for the man to bring the dog back to the vets. She writes this date on a card for the man. Complete the card below with the date. So this is the 20th of May. May is the fifth month of the year. And then we have 2021. Or just 21 at the end, if you like. A man applies for a job in a charity shop. He gets a letter asking him to attend an interview. The interview will start at half past one in the afternoon. Which one of these clocks shows the time the interview will start? Tick one. Option A shows half past two. Option B shows 11 o'clock. Option C shows 10 o'clock. Option D shows half past one, which is the one we're after. So option D is the only correct one. He needs to catch a bus to arrive in time for the interview. He looks at the different bus numbers and their arrival times. What number bus should you get? Give a reason for your answer. So the interview is at half past one in the afternoon. As the bus times are in 24 hour format, we're going to write this as 13.30. So it's 1.30. If we add 12 to the 1, it is 13. So in 24 hour format, that is 13.30. So we're looking for something that is before this, earlier than this. This is 17, which is much later. This is 13, which looks about right. This is 16, much later, and this is 15 again, much later than what we want. So the bus number is 63. The reason it arrives 30 minutes before the interview.
The rest of them arrive after the interview. The gardener should finish his work shift at quarter to six. He checks his watch. Has he finished his shift? Explain why you think your answer is correct. The clock shows half past five. So that is 15 minutes before quarter to six. So has he finished his shift? We're going to say no. I think my answer is correct because he needs to work for another 15 minutes. A passenger's flight leaves at 1 o'clock. He checks his watch. Has his plane left? Give a reason for your answer. Use the clock time to help you. So if we look at the clock, it isn't one yet. So it needs another 15 minutes to get to one o'clock. So we're going to say no. Reason is it needs another 15 minutes to get to one o'clock or quarter an hour it needs to get to one o'clock joe is going to college by bus the next bus leaves at quarter past ten. Tick the clock that shows the time the bus leaves. So quarter past ten. This is ten o'clock. This one is quarter past ten. The third clock shows quarter to ten. And the fourth one shows ten to three. So the only correct option is the second one. And this is the end of the questions.